Hi, I'm Darren Spencer and today I want to talk to you about changing a light fitting. Obviously the original houses have got these ceiling roses but most popular these days are these new light fittings who look nice in any, any home. So I'm going to show you, identify a few little pizza pieces if you fancy doing it yourself, how simple it is. Remember, if you're not confident, contact an electrician who will willingly help you. Right then, this is a typical ceiling rose um, we have. I've, it's, I've just pre-wired it for ease of uh, use. Right, um, you've got a cable coming in and a cable coming out and then you've got your switch wire. So let, let me talk you through these to make it a bit more simple. You have a live and a neutral coming in. It could be from the fuse box or another light. And again, another live and a neutral, which will either come go to the next light on the circuit upstairs or downstairs. But this is the crucial one. You have a live and what it looks like a blue wire, but it's actually the switch live. So this, this has a little uh, marker on it to, because when your light switch is, is turned on, then this becomes live and that's what turns your light on, on and off. So this is, can't be mixed up with a neutral. So it's as simple as that. Obviously you've got your earth down here as well. The best way to describe it if you're trying to change a light fitting and you haven't got this kind of environment is all your lives should be together, all your neutrals should be together, but this should be separate and kept away from your neutrals. Um, also, obviously your colour changes as well. These are the modern ones who have been out since 2005 where this is brown and blue for your live and neutrals. In the old days, it used to be red for live and black for neutral. So you, prob you may have a mixture of colors, so it is crucial to find out which ones your live cables are and make sure you turn off the supply. You never do anything live. And if you don't feel that you can do this kind of work, then contact your local electrician, I'm sure, who would love to help you. But this is the basics of it. It's basically, if, 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 if you do what I say about keeping all the lives and neutrals and the live uh, switch wire all separate, then I'm sure you won't go far wrong. But if you don't fancy doing it yourself, then give um, a local electrician a ring. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, a job worth doing is worth doing right.